through with us why you think expansion can be a good idea. Well, justices on the Supreme Court have tenure that lasts for their lifetimes, even though the Constitution simply uh, notes that justices should serve during good behavior, doesn't say anything about life term, lifetime tenure, but society, American society has always held that uh, federal court judges, including Supreme Court justices uh, have lifetime tenure. And so assuming that we continue with that interpretation of the constitution, it means that we have uh, MAGA extremist Republican justices who are in their 50s, some, in some cases early 50s, and they will be around for the next 30 years ruling in the way that their patrons uh, expect them to, and they will be ruling at our expense. And so, uh, you know, even a guy like Clarence Thomas, who is 72, 73 years old, he still has another decade at least uh, to serve on the court. If he wants to serve until he dies, he uh, currently he has the ability to do so unless Congress would see fit to impeach him, which is not gonna happen. If we can't impeach and convict and remove Donald Trump from office, then everybody is exempt from, from that particular remedy. Uh, everybody of a certain uh, class, I should say. Uh, but um, so the only thing we can do at this point uh, is to expand the court. Um, Congress has the authority to do so. Congress has exercised that authority seven times uh, throughout uh, the course of history, the last time being in 1869. So it's been 160 years uh, since the court was expanded. At that point, uh, there were, the country had about 37, 38 million people. Uh, now we have 330 million people, but we still have the same size uh, Supreme Court. Um, you know, time for change uh, on the court is here for a number of reasons, but the biggest one is because of the ideological bent of this court. It's been captured by the mega extreme right-wing corporate interests. And if uh, we don't expand the court, then we're stuck with this court, the highest court in the land, the final arbiter of what is constitutional or not constitutional. And um, this court, like it did in Dobbs, is taking us backwards, took us backwards uh, in the affirmative action cases. It has ripped away the right, the equal protection rights of the LGBTQ community, people in that community, uh, because of the uh, the case uh, 303, uh, uh, 303 Creative versus Ellenis. Uh, that case uh, green lights the ability of uh, creators who own businesses to discriminate against. Uh, uh, persons of the LGBTQ persuasion. So this court, rather than expanding on rights of people, rather than expanding on freedom and liberty, is actually taking us back and taking away liberties. And if Black folks are not careful, under this court, we'll be back picking cotton. And so uh, that's the reason why we need to expand the court. We need to do so now. And I appreciate you again, providing the contemporary context, the historical context. And as you said before, the last time the court was expanded was 1869. So even just looking at the piece of the last time it's been expanded and it was expanded quote in response, we'll say to the ever needing changes you know, based on the ever needing changes in society, well, guess what? Like you said, you're dealing with the population now that's almost nine to 10 times the size. So there 
just by that alone, there's a, I'll say, reasonable understanding why that there is a call to expand just, just on population alone.